Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, I had a question about uh, Windows 11, Windows 10 versus problems that um, someone was having. And the um, fact that sometimes uh, problems seem to be Windows 11 related when you move on to when, from Windows 10 to Windows 11, when in reality they're not necessarily Windows related. We got to be careful and um, you know what is a problem that is Windows related, and what is a problem which is not Windows related, which are big, big majority of the cases. Uh, so there's um, a few problems that uh, one of the uh, viewers was mentioning about him uh, moving to Windows 11 from Windows 10, and so of course the question was, you know, when is Microsoft going to fix those problems? Well, the thing is. The problems that are mentioned in his, um, in his comment is really related much more to the PC he's using and the software installed than Windows 11. So, um, and this is what kind of answered back uh, um, when I told him, well, it's probably more something about your PC than Windows itself. But, of course, the reply back was, well, it wasn't doing that when I was on Windows 10 which, of course, um, the interpretation becomes it is Windows 11 related since Windows 10 was working fine. And it doesn't mean that. And it doesn't at all mean that because something works in Windows 10 and has problems in Windows 11, that Windows 11 is necessarily the problem. Most problems are derived from compatibility, are derived from the way that an operating system works with the hardware and the software installed. And it could simply be that um, the manufacturer never updated, for example, drivers to have them for specific Windows 11 use. This might sound like, well, you know, they were working on Windows 10. Everybody's telling me that in Windows 11 is the same, uh, the same thing. I don't know why it should be different. Well, even if at the basic level, Windows 11 does share a big, big part of its code with Windows 10, it is still a unique and different operating system. That means every manufacturer will, and most of the, um, you know, the hardware and the software and the and uh, the, the PCs that are sold that are not too old, when if they're still being uh, updated with their drivers and the software will issue specific sets of uh, code for the drivers, for the BIOS, and so on for Windows 11. In the case where it could be an older machine where there's no support anymore, and there's a lot of them out there, um, which means there's no more updates that are actually done. Uh, in the case where the software used or the hardware used printers and so on are not, you know, they're older, so they're not updated anymore. Even though, yes, the Windows 10 driver has a good chance and probably does work in Windows 11, it's not impossible that you could get a glitch, you know, uh, some kind of weird thing happening. And, of course, the idea behind this is once you do that, you say, oh, well, you know, it's Windows 11. It's a brand-new system. That's why it's uh, it's buggy. Well, it's not necessarily buggy. It could be the driver is just not optimized and that the problem is the driver or the software. And that is not Windows 11. You can't expect a fix for things like that because there's nothing to fix on the Windows side. It is a lot more on the hardware side, the manufacturer of that hardware, that wouldn't need to issue a fix. So it's kind of difficult to draw the line of what is a Windows 11 problem. And, you know, I see a lot of people complaining about problems they have. And 99% of everything that I see in comments and emails has nothing to do with Windows. It really, really has to do with your hardware doesn't have its drivers or it's not optimized for Windows 11 in some way. It could also be, and this is something that is always on every version of Windows, when you move from one version of Windows to another um, via the Windows update, you know, you're not doing a clean install. You just, you're on Windows 10, you decided, update myself to Windows 11, and let's move on there. Um, 
one of the things that happens is that that upgrade process, it's not impossible that something could not be right. It's not impossible that because of older code that's been dragged into the new install, that something is not right. And I would recommend to anybody that has issues on Windows 11 that they did not have on Windows 10 to clean install, not upgrade. If you upgraded from Windows 10 to 11, well, you know what? Take the time to remove everything and restart fresh. A lot of the times this fixes the issues. And um, don't forget that if you have a, a system that's not been optimized for Windows 11 in any way, that, yeah, it could have issues and they'll never be fixed because they're not Windows related. You know, that's not to say that Windows doesn't have its own issues. It does, and that's why there's a list of known issues. And that's why every month we talk about different little things that are weird that happens in Windows. Uh, so, yes, definitely it does, but uh, they are, in the most part, they are minor, and um, it's really, really much more uh, dependent on the hardware and the software side uh, that uh, something could be uh, not going well. So um, I would recommend a clean install, not an upgrade from one system to the other. I know it's easy because, you know, everything stays there and everything, your software is still there, but it has its possibilities of actually going wrong in the upgrade because, you know, maybe old code, maybe some corrupted files that were already there that in the upgrade process creates issues. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.